Resevin, this is Agency Diana speaking. Your assignment is to eliminate Vladimir Zupikov, the fourth general from the arms deal. He has defected to the German embassy and will be requesting asylum in Germany. It is vital for our client that his suitcase is retrieved. It contains a guidance system the general probably will try and peddle to the highest bidder in the West. There is a party tonight at the embassy and loads of glitterati and socialites, a perfect cover for your assignment. So wear a tux. Unfortunately, we couldn't provide an invitation. And remember, security is ultra-tight, so bringing any sorts of weapons in from the outside is impossible. There's more. The Russians are furious about the prospect of a former general defecting to a NATO country. We have surveillance recordings of a Spetsnaz agent receiving an invitation to this party. Check the video to identify this agent. We also recorded the general arriving at the embassy. See to it that you get that briefcase. It's standard ICA practice. We don't want problems with competitors, 47. I repeat, take out the general and get the suit. What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister and Zero One back at you with more Hitman 2 Silent Assassin HD walkthrough. This is mission number five, invitation to a party. This is a very easy mission, as well as it being short. So uh, if you, you know, are not someone who can easily get Silent Assassin, this would definitely be one of the easier missions to do so. So, um, like I said, since it's very short, uh, there's only a few things that we need to accomplish during this mission, and it's pretty easy to get in and get out while uh, achieving your silent assassin, which is, of course, what we're going through in this walkthrough. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this HD trilogy so far. Uh, since I started off with Hitman 2, obviously we're going to continue on with the third game in the series, which will be Hitman Contacts. And then we'll finish it out with uh, Hitman Blood Money, which I've already actually started, but I decided to go ahead and wait. So don't even worry about running in here. Um, you're, you're pretty much safe. You're good to go. Once you're inside the building, it's it's whatever you want to do. But the first thing you want to do is you want to get to uh, this room where I'm going as soon as possible because our first target, the general, is uh, going to be in this room right here. So we want to get in here as fast as we can. Go ahead and get your uh, fiber wire, get it ready, and silently take out this guy. Don't worry about the maid. Um, if you're silent, uh, she won't do anything. However, if you go up in there and you're not silent, uh, then of course she will uh, alert others. But right now, you're good to go. So right now, we're just waiting uh, to find out uh, where the white guy, or should I say the white dot is going. Um, since we don't have any non-lethal tools, aka we don't have any anesthesia or anything like that, right now we're just kind of waiting around until um, him and the Spetsnaz uh, meet up. When they meet up, then we can actually follow them, and we can take out the Spetsnaz since he is an enemy faction, and uh, we can actually get into the safe without having to hurt, um, you know, the ambassador, whoever you want to call. So uh, the rooms over here that are marked are the safe rooms, so he could go into a, a number of different rooms. I think there's four total. Uh, but right now, we're just going to enjoy the party, waiting for him to come back downstairs. Uh, like I said, if you have anesthesia, well then uh, you can obviously just go right to the ambassador right now when he's opening up the safe and then uh, take care of him. Uh, and just knock him out and then pretty much, you know, get the contents of the safe. But uh, since we've got none of those tools, uh, we're going to have to do it the, the old-fashioned way. So we're going to listen to a little bit of music here. got some math skills. So as you can see, there is our Spetsnaz. Uh, he pretty much fits the same description from the video. <laughs> so um, obviously we're just going to be waiting right now until the ambassador comes. So just pick a spot here. Uh, this is where really the, all the people are. They're only in this one room. Everything else is pretty much empty. So let's go ahead and bring up our map again. Looks like he's heading his way down now. He should be coming into this room. He's going to be waiting for a little bit, and then the Spetsnaz guy will take him hostage, and then we're just pretty much going to follow him. It's random where they're going to go, so that's why you want to either stick close to them or uh, you know check out your map so you know which area that they're going into. And we're just waiting for the magic to happen. Now, 
Well, that wasn't in front of anybody, now was it? Fantastic. <laughs> ah, you done. All right, so give, uh, give a good distance so they don't catch you. And knowing my luck, this door is gonna shut on me as soon as I get in there. Ah, that's what I thought. All right, so it looks like they're going upstairs. Which that means that's where we're going as well. Uh, there's no rush right here, so don't worry about it. Uh, okay, I thought he was up. He wears his sunglasses at night. Like I said, don't worry about uh, the, these guys right here. You can run all day. I know it's kind of like contrary to belief where you thought, okay, you can't run during this mission. But in this mission only, I found that you can actually run any way you want. Uh, so they're going to be entering the door over here. As soon as the Spetsnaz enters, go ahead and run past them. Alright. Get into this room here. Equip your fiber wire. And let's take him out. But uh, you definitely want to wait until he opens up the safe. Because then we would still have to take out the ambassador. So. Got him in there. I give you money. You let me go, yeah? All right. Well, we are good to go. Go ahead and get some chocolate because, well, you know, we need some chocolate after killing two guys. All right, and we are good. We can leave and get the heck out of Dodge, as I always say at the end of my videos. I'm not sure if you can run with this suitcase or not, so I don't want to risk it. And I'm not worried about, you know, getting the lowest time. Now, all that is definitely random as far as where um, the ambassador is going to be. If you do have some anesthesia, well, then you can take out that ambassador super quick. Or if you're just a complete Uranus, well, then you can just kill the ambassador and, and do it that way. So once you get to that point, go ahead and just start running and get the heck out of here. Uh, you should be good where you can just freely walk. Alright, so that's it. Very short mission. And hopefully we've got our Silent Assassin. I actually believe that it's a lot easier to achieve Silent Assassin in this game than it is in some of the other Hitman games. Uh, it's a little bit more lenient because this is on professional difficulty. So, And let's see how we did. Sweet. M4 rifle, silent assassin rating. All right, six minutes and 25 seconds. Awesome stealth, 100%, no alerts, no kills, because those were two targets that we needed to kill anyways, the Spetsnaz and the General. So let's check out our overall score. Uh, two shots fired, fired in the whole game, only one alert. That's because of the sniper mission that we did uh, when you're actually killing someone in front of like five other people. Um, but uh, other than that, we are good to go. We've still got our Silent Assassin rating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next mission. Peace out. Bitches! Looks like someone's got friends in Japan with plenty of money and some serious guns.